Good afternoon, Leo. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing good. Welcome to the Cosmic Chariot. I'm going to be your tour over here today. My name is Tyler. How are you guys doing? All right, so Leo, this is going to be your love reading for the sign of Leo. Not all messages will resonate, but take our resonates and leave the rest behind. For that being said, if you do find that you're resonating with any of these messages, you're welcome to hit that like button or hit that subscribe button to let me know that you're resonating or enjoying my content and that you want to see more. All right, so Leo, let's see what you got. So, cross watchers, you are welcome to watch the reading as well. But just know that this, these messages are intended for Leo and their partner. Um, so if you're not one of them, or you just feel like a Leo is thinking about you, you're welcome to watch, and you're welcome to acknowledge which story is yours and which isn't. But this is intended for Leo, so Leo, we're going to be talking about you and your partner, and or whoever you're thinking about, all right? So, let's see, let's see. Leo. Leo, Leo, Leo. Let's see what we got for Leo. Leo, Leo, Leo. Alright, Leo. So, at the bottom of the deck, for your overall energy, you have the death card in reverse. So that tells me that you're going through a rebirth during this time. So maybe this is a old connection that is about to re-spark or like there's going to be a lot of changes like sudden changes happening for you it's not quite a tower moment it's not like a huge disaster happened and it's a change it's more like you're birthing into something beautiful right um and for some of you you could have been going through a like a bit of a depression and you're finally coming out of that and you're starting to live your life the way that you should be living it right well there's no wrong way to live it but there's a better way to live it, if, you, if that makes sense, right? So you're coming out as the Hierophant Leo. So you have a decision that you're needing to make, or you just have a lot of things on your mind on what you want to do. Maybe you have a choice between two people, and you're just not sure what person you should choose because you're just not sure what which one is best for you, right? So, you, but you know, you know, you got to make a decision, and the choice is yours. But um, yeah. Let's see what your emotions are telling you. Your emotions are saying work hard or to focus on your work rather than um, focusing on two people. Focus on your work because the person that will truly be the one for you will allow you to work and gain that abundance while the other one will walk away because they don't feel like you have time for them or that you're not making enough time for them where, you know, that sh just shouldn't be the case because, you know, if they really wanted you, they would stick by you even if you're working hard and doing your own thing. Or this could just be saying that you're going to choose someone that's going to really want to work hard and, you know, is all about their coin and working hard and they may not have a lot of time for you, but you're okay with that because your schedule is kind of busy anyways, so the time that you do have together, it's perfect for you. Um, or whatever your scenario is, it's going to be different for everyone. Um, but either way, you're really stressing out about this, alright? You're really stressing out about this because you're just not sure what to do. You have two people that came towards you at the exact same time or almost the exact same time and you're just not sure so you may end up so to avoid the stress you may or to avoid making a decision you may put yourself into work and want to just work 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 and make no time for these people because you don't want to make a decision because you feel that like, both of these people are really good people, but you can't make a decision. You can't decide because you like them both so much. Um, and until someone reveals their true colors, you're not going to know which one is which, right? So let's see the person that you are thinking about or needing to make a decision towards, you know, whichever. There's two people here. Either way, I'm only going to choose one. It says... They are wanting to take a leap of faith. So they're going to be the ones that's going to approach you. All right? So, yeah. They're going to take a leap of faith towards you. 
and it's going to be a very sudden thing or to them it's going to feel like a long shot because maybe they feel like they don't have a chance with you because you you know make yourself so busy but either way they're willing to take that leap of faith they are you may find that this person is a bit foolish like they uh they're kind of funny maybe you find that attractive um <laughs> but either way uh you have page of swords or they have page of swords in reverse when it comes to their emotions so or how they're feeling so they're just they're not sure how to communicate with you because their communication level is a page of swords in reverse so that's worse than someone that is just a child like they're they it's like they have no way of speaking to you right so that that could be where the blockage is they're just like okay well how do i approach this person how do i talk to them if i can't even talk to them right so and that could be their problem you know whatever it may be um or maybe they feel like you're a bit shy and you don't know how to really talk out your feelings so but either way they have the ace of pentacles they're willing to offer something really amazing to you or something is about to be blessed into their life you know whatever it may be uh this is you know how they're feeling so it's like maybe they feel like you are the ace of pentacles you are a gift from god or you know whatever whatever you from the spirits from you know whatever you believe in um maybe because you're so focused on your coin that you know you being a blessing you, they admire you as an ace of pentacles um but you only have you have eight pentacles right so you have you're you're wealthy you know you're, you're good you're stable you're secure um but they admire you admire you like the ace of pentacles so this person may be really focused about how much money you bring to the table maybe they want you know someone that's very secure very independent um you know and stuff like that um but uh yeah you guys get the gist of it right <laughs> uh, but either way let's see what other cards you guys got okay so if there was a burden in the past that burden is about to be lifted and things are about to become revealed you know, you're no longer going to be stressing about making a decision. A decision will be made eventually, um, and it's going to be really easy for you. Okay. You have the Three of Cups here in reverse. So that's the friendship card. That could be also a third-party card. Maybe you end up friend-zoning somebody, and they reveal something to you, and then you're just like, okay, well, that just makes it easy. Blocked right it just like they do the work for you and it's just like okay you just made my decision like 20 times easier and yeah <laughs> it's just easier you know um or maybe they tell you something like oh uh you know I, how come we never hang out anymore you know i miss you know playing around with you whatever it may be um <laughs> Uh, it's just like I, either way you understand who the F boy is and who isn't the F boy you know whatever um, but uh, yeah whoever it is they're going to make your life a lot easier um, but uh, yeah yep 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 ah I see so yeah they definitely see you as very stable very secure very stable very secure and you see this person as very giving, very, uh, you know, sometimes they overgive. Um, and maybe that's why you want to give back to this person because they give so much. You know how good of a caring person they are. Or maybe they see you as a very caring person and you see them as very stable, very secure. Maybe you work with this person. Either way, um, messages can be vice versa. I don't, I'm not sure if I said that before, but either way, you guys know. Um, if you've been watching the channel for a while, you know. And I want to pull one more card. 
just because all right so you have an ending here so if there if you had someone that was your friend that liked you for a long time it seems like that situation is going to end very soon um oh and it, it kind of makes sense you know the 10 well you have two tens here right and two tens means a new cycle is about to begin and an old cycle is about to end uh, so a friendship could be ending in order for you to um, go towards a beautiful connection um, but with the ten of swords here in the death card here it makes sense that you're going through some sort of rebirth and making positive changes in your life so that way you can go towards a positive uh, reinforced stable decisions life better yeah <laughs> you're making your life a lot better by ending something and going towards something that is brand new and you're rebirthing into something amazing all right so let's see what you got for the moonology cards let's see what you got leo 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 what do we got for leo 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 well other than that leo this reading is pretty good i don't i don't really see you guys being in a relationship right now i feel like you guys are both single but if you uh, are in a relationship, you know how this person is and stuff like that. Maybe it's not exactly how I described it, but it's very similar. Um, but either way, you know, you guys know if you're in a relationship with this person or not. Maybe you're just thinking about someone at work and you're just admiring how you know hardworking they are, or just like you know whatever it may be. But you have a win-win situation is forecast all right so and it's in uh this pink color which is very loving very uh admiring as well so it's like wow 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 wow, wow. it's just like no matter what happens leo you can't lose like you have everything um working out for you and if you watch the other leo re reading the weekly reading or the not the weekly the timeless reading that i did uh, earlier earlier this week or like last week or whatever um, you guys had the wheel of fortune in the upright and you know you're doing you were doing amazing right you couldn't lose right and then you have conclusions are within reach so that yeah that's another 10 so things are about to end between you and someone else and new things are about to you know start beginning uh, for the signs that I see I see Taurus Virgo Libra Gemini I want to say Aquarius, but I don't know where I'm getting that from, but, <laughs> and then Scorpio. So you could be dealing with any sign, but these are just the elements or the elemental signs that I'm seeing right now. Um, but either way, um, life's good, man. <laughs> you know, like, uh, everything's going to work out just fine. You don't really need to stress about this, even though you are stressing about this very much so. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's going to be it, Leo. I hope you guys resonate and enjoyed this reading. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help grow my channel, and I really, really do appreciate it. Namaste. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. And if you'd like to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, the links will be down in the description box below. If you want to check out any of the other videos on my channel, you can hit that channel button, and it'll take you a whole bunch of videos on my channel. Other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.